All right, let me talk about the setup that I have here. There's a new setup that I'm trying out. I'm doing a planetarium in a couple of days, um, and it's a glitch-themed event. So I thought, why not bring out some analog video gear and project this onto the planetarium? Uh, one of the challenges of doing that is that for a planetarium, you need a high resolution. We need at least 4K, otherwise, you know, it's a huge screen. This is a 60-foot planetarium. So the idea is to take all this low-res stuff that you see here, and I'm funneling it into the CRT, which is then being scanned with this camera, 4K. It's a Sony a7 III. Uh, it's going into this 4K video capture device, a Magewell, and then going into a channel of Resolume. Uh, Resolume is a VJ program, and in Resolume, I'm going to have all of this stuff in coming in as a channel, but I will also be able to start blending in other clips that I have created. So we kind of get the best of both worlds here. Um, so let me talk a bit about the signal flow here and the analog video part. My main mixer that everything flows into is this V4, which is then going out into the CRT, being rescanned, going into Resolume. Now into that, I have three different channels. One of them being my video feedback setup here with a flat panel and a visual presenter. And with that, I can get all kinds of cool effects. I can add, with the V4, I can add in some mirroring effects, which adds to some really nice mandala effects. Uh, I'll go back to this in a little bit and talk some more about that. Uh, but I can also then, on the V4, blend it in with some other sources. One of them being the video equations. This is from Cat Full of Ghost Electronics. It's a really sweet little device. Uh, that sort of mimics sort of like ASCII fonts and glitched out 8-bit uh, stuff, kind of. I think that's cool. I really like this device. I haven't had as much of a chance to use it, and I'm really looking forward to bringing it out. So this thing's pretty sweet. So I can start blending in. For In this case, I got the, these characters going on with the video equations. Uh, I have my video feedback set up, and I'm going to blend the two together. All right. I can also, if I want to, bring in this other mixer. So for this other mixer, I have the Panasonic MX30, and the MX30 is taking two sources. It's taking the Archer color corrector, which is set up as a feedback loop. The input of going, the output of this is going into an input on this channel and back out into itself, and it routes itself to create these pretty interesting uh, bands of color and glitched out effects that you might want. Uh, stuff that I think will be really appropriate for the event. Uh, on top of that, I'm also mixing in my LZX Video, which is an analog video synthesizer. It's a patchable unit. And I'm going to use that as a source. Uh, so I have basically, I think, four sources going. I have my video feedback over here. I've got my video equations. And then I can also take a sub-feed coming from this mixer, which is taking these two devices, and I can then feed that in as well. And if I want to, I could start adding feedback on top of that. All right? So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, like I said, this goes into Resolume as one of the... Um, video sources here and then I can start blending it in with other artwork that I've created. So I'm still kind of learning this, you know, it's a new system. Um, we'll want to take a chance on this at the show and just see how it looks, but I think it's going to look really sweet projected onto the dome um, and I'm looking forward to it. Let's go into in some detail about how each one of these devices work. Let's start with the video feedback setup. So what I have here is basically a monitor that is coming out of the V4 as a separate feed and this is going into it. So it's creating a video feedback loop where this camera feeds into here and then the output of this V4 goes down here into this flat panel. And what this does effectively is create like a whole of mirrors effects. You start getting video feedback, you start getting these like really cool trails that start happening. Because if you think about it, it's basically this loop that's going on It starts creating like this like uh, this tunneling type of effect. And you can start, I can start changing the colors on this if I want to, brightness and contrast settings, etc. 
And I can also take this uh, twisting head that's on here and start spinning that around and creating some interesting effects. Now this thing's pretty cool on its own, but what I like to do is add the positive and negative effect that this particular model visual presenter has. And what that does is so it's creating these cool stripes because what's happening is every time the video feed goes through the system, it negates it. So it's sending in positive, come back negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So it's just creating these stripes because each time it's going through, it's reversing its color. And then if you start putting your hands into it, you can just start getting all these wild effects and stuff like that. And it will also work by uh, if you blend in a feed from something else. In this case, I have it set up that my video, my analog video synthesizer is going to go in there. And I'm going to add that in. Let me switch these up a bit. Reverse them. All right, so I can start adding even more stuff to it. Um, the camera situation is a little finicky because I can... I have it a little... Uh, out of focus actually because I think it makes the color a bit richer but if you get a really in focus you start seeing the pixels of the CRT so I'm going to play around with that at the show and let's go back to the video um, the video feedback part if I so I can start messing around with it and start creating all these cool patterns and shapes by playing around with this or I can also start adding in some effects, like I'm going to do a mirroring effects, which is going to split this in half. And this creates some really sweet mandala-like effects. So I think this is going to be really fun. You can see what I'm doing there. And we can blend it in with our, our video. We can also blend in with some of the video feedback from the uh, Archer color corrector as well. So we can start playing around with this stuff and start getting all these interesting textures. And I think these are going to look cool once you start um, blending in the liquids and other media that I have on it. So I have all these different clips that I'm going to start blending in Resolume that are going to go over this. And I have to try to get not too strobey because I don't want to overwhelm people in this dome. I think that this can be a little overwhelming and crazy so I'm gonna try and do my best to be as smooth and soft with it as possible but this is a pretty cool way to start uh, blending in various media together into from one system um, so let's switch over and talk about the uh, video equations for a bit and let me get that up on the screen so this thing's pretty cool you basically have all these different sliders and start generating different characters and patterns uh, with it. I have to admit, I'm not super proficient at this yet, so I'll be learning on the fly what all this stuff does, but I'm looking forward to it, and, you know, being a glitch-themed event, some mistakes or things not being perfect is going to work out well, I think. I think, it's gonna, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let's go over here to the uh, MX-30 feed. Again, it's taken the Archer Color Corrector and the video and I can start moving stuff around. So I got a little bit of a patch here. I'm also not proficient at the, the, the video, but I do know a couple of basic patches, stuff that I picked up from LZX's website, and we'll be messing around with that. Um, all right, and again, the other thing that we have here is the color corrector. This is just, uh, usually it's made to correct color and all that. You pass a video feed through it. You can then change your, your hue, your chroma, your brightness, etc. But in this case, I have this thing similar to this, what this is doing with video. I'm actually doing this with a hard signal. So the cables, these old school um, composite video cables, they're just running into this and back out through it. So it is also video feedback, but it's purely signal based. And then by adjusting the different, uh, you know, the, the different parameters on this, I can start getting some pretty cool effects. I'm going to take this little out of focus. Yeah, it's glitching out as it should. Let's give it some more juice. And again, I'm going to have to play around with this stuff a bit and get used to it, but we'll figure it out on the spot. And then finally, I'm also going to play around with video feedback on video feedback. 
So I have the video feedback here. It's analog and purely natural, but Resolume also has a video feedback effect. So I have a channel here that's just video feedback that I'm going to set up. And now I can start getting some pretty interesting things as well. I can start twisting it around if I want to. And now I'm getting video feedback on video feedback. And similar, I also have effects here where I can uh, put a mirroring effect on it, etc., and start generating all these other patterns. Uh, Want to make sure we don't overwhelm people. It's going to be big. Um, so we'll be careful when we get there. But yeah, that's about, that's about it. So... I hope to do more another video of this while I'm actually at the dome, so uh, stay tuned.